Hey everyone, Ddub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Stargate the Pegasus Chronicles. Alright. Um Let's get our scout in position. I uh looked at this planet and this is the place where that particular we were able to salvage an ion cannon from the ruins after thorough investigation. We can duplicate it. It's now at your disposal. Is it a weapon? Like... Oh, I see. Capable of attacking ships in the planet's orbit. But it can't be built everywhere? It can only be built there. Right, I need to rebuild that conveyor. I forgot about that. Um, this is the planet where... That guy was attacked by the Gould probe and harmed pretty badly the place where what's her name? Dr. Fraser went to help him and uh, ended up getting killed. That's where we're going. So if there's major resistance here, it would make some sense. This place doesn't even have a station yet. Probably not the wisest thing. Have a flagship, three new Hatoks, one old. We can handle that. Let's see what we're looking at first. Colonel Jack, do we you? have a problem? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Forget it. Get us out of here. By then, it would be too late. All right. We will monitor your progress as best we can. Is that enough time for you? So I assume you're fine with that? Yoink that one up right now. No, 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 no. Yoink it. Yeah, drop. Alright. Watch the fire there. I am so Naturally, I'm going to attack that. Very well. Oh, right, I forgot. Our Hatok survived. I thought it was but dead for some reason. Dead. Probably because of how close it got to being dead. I'm afraid so, sir. Running planetary scans. Is that enough time for you? So I assume you're fine with that? Is that enough time for you? Yeah, let's go ahead and take this guy out right now. Before he has a chance to do some real damage. So it looks like the enemy's strategy is usually go straight through us, quite literally, and then come back and hope they can actually get us. I'm not sure why they do that. It's not the best move. SG-1 and the commandeered ship can keep their fighters and bombers busy for all I care. Sure, let's kill that. Out his engines. I am the soul. The commander of the Asgard fleet. That would be unwise. Aha! There is another one. We can 
Sure, what that noise is. That was weird. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's base stealth here. Yep, so. This place is inhabited no matter what it looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna have no idea what's actually here, though. Well, no, let's send in a bomber. We're not on her. Sir. You get up there and take a look around. You guys move to there fast. They never know what hit them. Well, they probably have the ordinance to bring this thing down, but I might as well look. This was the only place in the entire original series that uh, that the Gould used one of those weird, basically a Star Wars M Imperial probe droid. That's that's pretty much what it was. No sign of any Jaffa activity. I'll just scan the ground while no you move. Oh, keep no going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we are. That's what I'm looking for. No sign of any Jaffa activity. No sign of any Jaffa Is that activity. it? Okay. There's a lot of them. Take that out so that we're fighting for real. damage to structures, does it? I don't think they have any gliders, so we're free to attack.
Hello. need to wait for a second because we do need to build a couple things this is good though we made a little more progress I could try to attack here and just take out a couple couple enemy ships but they move as a mass and I don't see those guys just kind of uh, backing down at any point in the middle of a fight Oh, I need to send SG-1 here to begin negotiations. Okay, so that'll probably be before we can attack Tartarus. So I should take everything I can before that happens. What's that? Send SG-1 to Earth to advance our efforts towards the construction of Asgard ships. Asgard heard of the Great Gold Fleet on Talana, decided to supply some blueprints for their ships. Our scientists have so, so far been unable to make heads or tails of them. You should send Major Carter to Earth. Perhaps she'll be able to help out. Fair. That's a fair point. If anyone can, it's her. You go to Earth. Forget it, get us out of here. Don't you dare trigger. Dang it! She wants not talking to you. Okay, well that's super frustrating. Because I didn't want that to happen. can build an academy there for some reason. Alright, I already built that conveyor. <laughs> Negotiations were successfully agreed to draw Anubis' forces, giving us a window of opportunity to attack Tartarus. I'm assuming I dropped him there and I can still move, so I'm assuming we're good. I might rebuild that once we get a little more security here, but honestly, it's not that vital because that thing kind of sucks. Okay, this can be attacked from Juna directly. I don't really like that. Major Carter is able to design an advanced shipyard, which allows us to build Asgard ships. Uh, only certain planets allow its construction. Talona would be an ideal choice. What in the world is that? HB-302, a new upgraded bomber. Weird. Asgard shipyard, oh, and then an improved space station. Cool, well, we're building that. I think that's the only place that can. Earth might be able to. Drone platform, airfield, small shipyard. Maybe not. Hawktail. Where's Hawktail? Oh yeah. Well, I have a bunch of extra marines here. So this is probably another cold warrior. Oh yeah, we've been here before, haven't we? All secure here, sir. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, there's no place like home. We gotta move now. Yeah, there's no place like home. We gotta move now. Yeah, there's no place like home. Don't you worry, boys. That's why the SG-3 Marines are coming with. Stargate is secure, sir. Don't you worry, boys. He 
is gonna mow them down. Tell you, those things were genuinely terrifying in that show. Alright, well, SG-1 is back with them. Cool. I say let's press the advantage. We can only hope this will be the last one by the fall. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Okay, just two and two again. A lot of fighters and bombers. Still have not seen Kronos or Bastet again since that one fight. Get us out of here. By then it will be too late. Yeah. Do we have a problem? Hello. It's a lot of bombers. Forget it. Get us out of here. By then it will be too late. Hello. Yoink. <laughs> All right. Thor can just drop right we'll on them. As best we can. I'm afraid so, sir. Running planetary scans. I'm afraid so, sir. SSN came up empty. So I assume you're fine with that? Is that enough time for you? So I assume you're fine with that? Is that enough time for you? Holy cow. Get out of there. Oh no. We're gonna lose this guy. Dang it. You guys and your stinking waves. Drag, why does it do that? Lost a Daedalus. That hurts. Ugh. To Grian Homeworld. Mostly of desert and scrubland. There are two seasons. 34 million houses. Tents live in four big modern cities. Industrial complexes and parks. All cities are surrounded by wasteland. Linked to an extensive transport network. Relatively progressive. Military consists of airships and tanks. Oh. Got it, got it. I know what that place is. That's that's the place where uh, there was a standoff. The military leader of it did not trust us, but its actual leader did. And we had a standoff where the Prometheus was, was damaged in space and was caught in its orbit. And were really on the ground. And wasn't able to leave.
the leader there is actually he's a pretty cool guy. Very well. This thing gives me one whole other person to call in. Serpent guards. Yeah, everyone for whoa. I believe a medical attack could be successful very two ago. Looks like there's a pathway you can take through the mountains to get there as well. There'd be two more, but I'm not overly concerned by it. They were some other way. I'm on my way. Very well. I saw some other infantry heading south. Lose eight. Very well. You have chosen the location very well. By then it will be too late. Hello? That is correct, O'Neill. There is another way. I am on my way. No Very palace well. over here? So I must be around the other side. Ha! You have chosen the location very well. Oh, there it is. It would be too late. So we're going to need to stick around and reinforce this one. I'm more afraid of Tigria than I am of Juna. And planet is of Ball's territory. It consists mostly of meadows, forests, and mountains, a few lakes and rivers. Some regions are wastelands with sharp rocks, but those are large areas of wasteland. Ball is a base with large pyramid. It is minister to subordinate Zarin, who is a Tok'ra agent. Okay, I see. Tilk and Vizel visited the planet just to talk to Zarin. Symbio poison located in the missile killed all of Jafar and Gould on the base. Everyone except Tilk. Wow. There they are. Found them. It's only a level one place. So it's going down pretty fast. They're going to attack and run, aren't they? All systems are in the green. They never know what hit them. No sign of any Jafar activity. They never know what hit them. No sign of any Jaffa activity. No sign of any Jaffa activity.
That's all we got. Holy crap! Humankind is going to benefit from what we find out there. We have to be able to study it. Where are you people going? Attack it. They're just circling it. Get over here and do an attack run. Dr. Lee speaking. Kronos has extra shields, Bastet does not. Systems are in the green. What the hell is that? No sign of any Jaffa activity. Colonel, we can do this. They never know what you're I hate that running thing. Stinking cowards. Do that the second that things start looking slightly not good, and because we're a base, we can't pursue. And then they cheat and run away immediately, because they know what we have. them again. What a shock. If humankind is going to benefit from what we find out there, we have to be able to study it. No sign of any no activities. They're going to immediately waste another thousand of my money, aren't they? No sign of any Jaffa activity. Dr. Lee speaking. I'm not entirely sure. You never know what hit him. Colonel, we can do this. Okay. No sign of any Jaffa activity. I'm sweeping in. Don't target the engines, they're irrelevant. Humankind is going to benefit from what we find out there. We we'll have to be able to study it and we'll never know what the situation is. Dr. Lee, oh, just that? keep firing on this one. I'm not entirely sure. We don't have the firepower to take out either of them. Dare die before you bring that down. There you go. Get wrecked. We can only hope this will be the last yeah, they're cheating. There's no way they could possibly know what I have here. Unless the computer just decides it wants to know. Oh, of course. Yeah, they're... An artillery attack? I hate these guys. 
I don't get to know what's on a planet That's before the enemies actually attack. Why do they? Benefit from what we find out there, Super frustrating. Be able to study it in controlled situations. No sign of any Jaffa activity. They never know what hit them. No sign of any Jaffa activity. And those are, well, at least they're not Anubis attacks. They're actually just regular new ones, but it doesn't matter. This sort of a force is way too big for us to repel. They never know what hit them. Humankind is going to benefit Not from what we find out there. We have to be able to study it in those situations. Just light that one up. Doctor Neesby, oh crap! Yeah, you're gonna have a hard time actually attacking us if you're running away. Find out there. We have to be able to study it in controlled situations. I'll take that too. Super expensive to do any repairs, but worth. No sign of any Jafar. Never know what hit him. No, we can do That's all we got. Human time is going to die if you want to find out there. We have to be able to study it in a controlled situation. Dr. Easter. to what we have fire on this thing. If humankind is going to benefit from what we find out there, we have to be able to study it in a controlled situation. No sign of any Jaffa activity. I still don't know where that artillery monstrosity is. No sign of any Jaffa activity. They never know what hit him. Dr. Lee speaking. Dead in the water. Get this one. That's all we got. Target is 
the dungeons first. Don't let him get away. Gotcha. Take out those shields. So that he's never able to make a sustained assault again. Excellent. Can't feel good. This thing can't even fire at us, can it? They never know no what's sign of any Jaffa activity. If humankind is going to benefit from what we find out there, we have to be able to study it in controlled situations. Doctor Lee speaking. That's the end of that squadron. Got anything else you want to send to me? I know he still has one healthy Hatak and a couple of those Corvettes. All systems are in the green. We've invested the rest in the protection of this place. Let's get That's those anyway. Here we go. Never know what Charge, take out its shields. The others will take out as many bombers and fighters as we can muster, but those are free to us. All we have to do is make sure our station survives. And those things are never going to kill it. Not alone. Skipping probably has something to do with when all the fighters launch their weapons. He still has that artillery talk, but I haven't seen it used once yet. The Corvettes are bolting up north. Those guys will tear these fighters and bombers apart, so we can't pursue them alone. Oh, well, that works. I'm not entirely sure. I never know what hit him. Never 
even know what hit him. Oh yeah, these guys don't have a shield generator that we can target. So if they run away, they can regen their shields. Fortunately though, the shields aren't that big a deal. Well, yeah, wherever that artillery Hatak thing is, it died somehow. I'll take it. That'll teach you, you jerks. Not that. Nope. Build it. That. Oh, don't build that. Cause I'm gonna need a bigger station here. Jacob's actually here? Cool. Whoa. Okay, um, suddenly I'm not so sure of our success. If humankind is going to benefit from what we find That was a big there, stack I just saw down there. In controlled situations. They never know what No sign of any Jaffa activity. They never no know sign of any Jaffa activity. Yeah, I've noticed the system lords seem to fight a little smarter than uh, Anubis. Anubis's plan seems to mostly be send people in one at a time, and the system lords just kind of hit you with what they got, mostly. I think the, the flagships are faster, so if they have one, it'll go out ahead of the others, but yeah, they're all going to hit us together right now. Target the old one. It's the most vulnerable, and it's the only one we'll have a chance of killing. First, or are we gonna die? We're gonna die. Got pretty close, though. Man, they're nightmares. That's what I thought. We will monitor your progress. I would like to get my Asgard ships first, but I'm tired of this cat and mouse fighting. June is a large forest planet ordered by a moon, several mountain ranges, a number of men here surrounds the gate to worship the ghoul. June live in the middle of the woods in plain encampments. Once the planet was dominated by Herorur, he forced the people into the Nakoda mines. After Hero was expelled, Kronos claimed the planet. Oh, this is the place where we killed Kronos in the, the show. We got a hot talk out of it. I don't Do think they're going to give us a hot talk here. Yeah, I lost one of my Daedalus. I'm afraid so, sir. Running planetary scans. So I assume you're fine with that? Yeah. Forget it. Get us out of here. My dad would be too late. Do we have a problem here? Yoink. Oh, 
Oh, that thing's still alive. Yeah, go ahead and finish that one off. So Kronos up and ran for it before we arrived. Apparently these ghoul system lords are the definition of cowards. Weirdly, he's fighting with Bastet. With her at his side, I mean, instead of among each other, so that's unpleasant. He went. Could be here, honestly. Might have fled here. Okay, um. So I can build another O'Neill, which is awesome. Uh, Belinsk Beliskner. Most common vessel, highly sophisticated systems. It's not vulnerable against much. Man, neither's that. Daniel Jackson, Asgard ship. Some of the most sophisticated vessels in the Asgard fleet, despite their almost pacifist research role, they're surprisingly well armed. Without an escort, they're not suitable in a battle against fighters or battleships. They are equipped with such efficient sublight engines, medium shields, two small and two medium ion cannons, one ion mortar, powerful sensors. I don't understand the point of that thing. So I'm not going to build it. I am going to build that. Another fight at Hawk Till. You can keep throwing your super soldiers into the Thresher if you want, Anubis. So this is interesting. It looks like as long as I hold the planet, uh, my turrets remain. I'm not sure why that is. Like, this turret is back. I didn't rebuild it after the last time. So as long as the super soldier doesn't actually finish destroying it, we're fine. That's why the SG-3 Marines are coming with. Is anybody behind you? Take cover! Have it your way, flyboy. Hold the period, sir. Whatever you're ready. As long as he wants to send his men into a meat grinder, we'll be ready. I'd like to get one more of these, and probably two of these for my fleet. Let's get started on the O'Neill right now. Excellent. I think we'll just barely have enough to get this if we wait for the next income burst. And then I'll probably be out of time, honestly. Just fending off the ghoul is taking up most of it today. But these things might give us enough of an oomph to really hit the enemy hard. It says we can build conveyors here, I think on this planet. So we should try to take it. It's got five buildings down here. So I don't expect it to be easy. And I might want to build up a better force here first. I don't know if attacking this will connect us with Keb or not. I really should get a level 2 station there. Uh, I don't, yeah, none of this makes me very comfortable. Just wait for our ships to be done, and get out of here. Access detailed information about your economy... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What's our ground forces looking like now? Nah, I'm not bringing in snipers. They're too limited. You know, let's do it. Why not? We have the resources right now. It's our conveyor planet again. Dang it. Stop attacking here. Okay, well, at least I know where he's going to be. Yeah, there's no place like you worry, boys. Yeah, there's no place like home. There he is. Try. Oh, come on, jerk. There you go. I thought he was going to turn and try to finish it off before we could kill him. What a tool. Anubis is the worst. Build a new one of these. I seem to lose a lot of X three oh threes. And we can take Hisara now, so I probably will. Once with our fleet now being a little beefed up, I think we may have enough firepower to take out this fleet. More point of pride than anything else. It's not like we really need the planet in use, but I don't like the Gould having this massive fleet sitting there. If it at any point decides it's going to snap into action, there's nothing we can do to stop it. While we're waiting, might as well build up some extra defenses around here since the enemies like to attack them so much. Okay, let's wait on our last guy, and then we'll send everyone off and get going. We can build the Tolan Ion Cannons, but I don't really see a reason to. Earth hasn't come under fire before, so I don't expect they will at any point, unless it's a story event later, which Anubis did attack Earth in the show. That was the climax of one of the seasons, so it wouldn't really surprise me. Okay. So our fleet's been pretty significantly beefed up. Might do a little more beefing before we attack this place. But what we have now is we're in a good position to take this and then move after, take this. And probably Hisara, just to clear it out. I don't think they can really build anything here, but this would let us easily just cross right between. And I'm assuming that'll unlock this place and let us take that too. I don't know if any of either of these two will link up to anything over here. I hope not. I'd rather have these just sort of locked down until I'm ready to go after them. I probably would have more things to do if I had properly cleared Chulak, but I didn't. So we are we're pretty limited on that front. Um, let me see here. Just airfields. I can't really build. Really, you don't even have a space station. I guess we'll put another one on order. And I can build a couple more Bliskners as well. And then with all of that together, we could take out Entac. Because, yeah, that, that really is just a ginormous fleet. But I think we can take it if we really 
we really want to. Alright. So yeah, next turn, we're going to let these guys meet up, send them in, we're going to take Juna, and then immediately attack PX9, and take that. They'll probably unlock this, which we'll take, and then Hasara should just be the, the station. With maybe it, it might have its own little defensive fleet as well. And if these aren't opened up, that puts us in a great position to clear out this, and then focus on taking these to at least the space of these two. And... Maybe the ground of all three of these. They're Gould Strongholds, so I can't guarantee that. Once we're done with Tartarus, I'm assuming I can attack Hanan, which would be awesome. And we still have to track down Kronos and Bastet. I have no idea where they went, but they're around here somewhere, and we will find them. Alright, well that's going to be it for this one then. Please check the link in the description uh, down for my book. If you like the look of it, give it a read, and if you like the read, give it a positive review. Other than that, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.